This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this uh, truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Long Bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's two-wheel drive. It's XLT, so it's cloth. Um, it has 131,000 miles, and it's very nice, uh, like new. Um, purchased directly from a, uh, uh, let's see, this one came from Tucson Dodge. It was a trade in there. Uh, obviously, it's a Ford, so they're not going to sell Do Fords on their Dodge uh, used car lot, especially on trucks. Uh, they don't they don't usually do that when they have uh, Dodge trucks sitting around. Um, also, when they're over 100,000 miles, they have trouble getting financing for people sometimes, so they just send them out to the auction. Anyway, this is a really pretty truck. I'll walk around. I'm going to show you mainly what's wrong, not what's right. It's my job to... Uh, Make sure that you know what you're buying, so especially if you ship or you fly in here or whatever, there's no surprise um, that you're getting exactly what you're paying for. You don't fly in here and say, what the hell did you sell me? <laughs> you know, uh, we don't need to do that. We can show you what you bought, what you're looking at, and what you're going to buy without doing that. We will find the right person for the right vehicle. The internet is a big place. Anyway, it's got a beautiful set of tires, Goodyear Wranglers on it. Very high tread. Uh, it looks like someone put them on very recently. They may be a couple, maybe a thousand or two thousand miles old. Um, I think I saw a rock chip here on the hood. There's a rock chip there. I think that this thing is probably a lot of people think that they get more money and trade for their vehicles when they have brand new tires on them, which is just insane. Uh, that is not a good idea <laughs> to put new tires on them before you trade them in. It does not make you more money. It makes you broker. <laughs> so don't do that. Here, a couple nicks here that have been touched up. Let's see, it's not touched up right here. Like I said, it's my job to kind of pick them apart. It does have parking sensors, tow package, both sets of light connections. There you go, there. Got a brand new spare tire. Bumper looks great. Could use a uh, bed liner. You know, it's weird. They, this guy really took good care of this truck because usually when you see a bed that's been used, the outside of the bed is just hammered. But it's not. It's the opposite of hammered. It looks really good. See some little dents here on top. A little scrape here. Scratch here. I'm reaching, but that's what I'm supposed to do here. Boy, this driver's side bed. I see a little ding right here. And I see one here and a little touch up right here. It's white, so it sure is forgiving. The tires look great. A spare, which we don't guarantee usually. Spares aren't even there. Time we get them. Anyway, I'm gonna turn. It, I'm gonna start this thing. Uh, people have been asking that they see these vehicles uh, started. Listen to them under the hood. So there you go. Let's see. Four them one right here between my fingers. Some stamps there. There's the four them one between my fingers there. Right there. I drove it uh, back from uh, Mannheim yesterday. 
Worked on I-10 and it ran great. Uh, very smooth. Nice for the truck. All there. Let's make sure that there's no surprises here. There's not. Headliner. Got a rear sliding window. Let's make sure that, that switch works. Well, let's walk around here and make sure that uh, all the power windows and locks and stuff work back here on these switches. There you go. That's the driver rear door. All right, let's try the door locks. Yeah. I'll show you the, the rear door locks too. We have a power seat up, back. That's the seat back, up and down. That works. Up and down. Pull seat up, pull seat down. That works. Nice truck, man. It's amazing that the new car dealers don't know how to sell vehicles anymore. Probably. All right. Driver window. Passenger front window. Passenger rear window. Let's see. Driver rear window. Let me find the door locks, the master door lock switch here. That's that. They work in the rear, the front, and right there. Good. All right, so we've gone through all that. That works. Pull seat up, pull seat down, down, up, down, up. That all works fine. We've got pedal adjusters. Let's make sure that no surprises there, and that works. The seat looks great. Gosh. All right. Let's see. What else we got going on here? Center console. Nothing there. Make sure there's nothing on the seat belts here. Nothing going on there. Let's see the radio. A lot to show for it. Yeah, always had drive. Okay, so you got a radio. You got a uh, six disc changer. Let's try the air real quick. Make sure we're blowing some cold air. We let that run for a little bit and get cold. So I know it's really cold and not uh, just because the air temperature outside. I've had that one thrown at me before. We had to arranged to get someone's AC fixed because it was really not cold. I just thought it was cold. So, learned my lesson there. There's all your toe stuff here. Alright, let's see. 131,476 miles. There's your whole thing there. Let's see, we have cruise control here. We have tow on and off, and yes, that is definitely AC functioning. Let's put it on the heater, since that may come into play at some point here. Let me let that run for a second and get hot. Let's try the uh, parking sensors. Let's see if the parking sensors work. Yes, they do. Parking sensors work. You can turn them off if you wanted to. There you go. All right. So everything, and it is getting nice and warm in here. The heater works. The AC works. I think I've shown you everything that there is. All right. Let's see. We're selling this on a clear title. Uh, like I said, it was a dealer trade-in. Because of the miles and because of the make of the vehicle, 
uh, Tucson Dodge was not going to sell it regardless of with the miles, but but uh, when it's over 100,000 miles, even if it was a Dodge truck, they would have sent it to the auction. So anyway, this is a beautiful truck. Um, take it down here. You see 9.1% uh, taxes here in Tucson. And this is, these are the roads that you get for 9.1%. You get roads that look like you're in Paraguay or Bolivia or maybe, you know, I don't know, Beirut or something. This is what you get. Lovely. Just goes to show you that higher taxes don't necessarily improve anything. Um, anyhow, uh, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to pay taxes. 2% city sales tax plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is, say, um, if your state tax rate is 5%, then you're going to pay 7% total tax. If your state tax rate is 0%, like in Alaska, uh, all you're going to pay is our city sales tax here in Tucson, um, plus two, uh, just the 2%, uh, plus the dock fee of $250. If you're from Arizona, our state tax rate is 7.1%, so you're going to pay 7.1% plus 2% city tax, total of 9.1% for an Arizona, plus the $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, you pay none of that. Just the agreed upon price um, and ship it out. Uh, we have a shipper. His name is Fred. Beacon Shipping Logistics. We don't arrange shipping, but he's our recommended shipper. He brings all of our vehicles to us, and he does a nice job for our buyers when they when they use him. Um, his number is right in the middle of our ad. It's a 401 area code number. Please give him a call. Beacon Shipping Logistics, Fred. Um, like I said, if you if you pay by wire and ship, we mail the title out to you the minute we get full payment, and uh, you ship it home and you deal with whatever taxes or whatever whatever happens in your state yourself. Some people apparently don't have to pay anything, so that would be a good thing. Anyway, let me uh, I'm gonna stop here, turn off the heater because it is freaking baking in here right now. Heater works. I'll go from zero here. There's the turbo. truck anyhow if you if you need a vehicle to tow with that looks great and uh, runs great has tires that don't need to be changed for gosh many thousands of miles I can guarantee these got to have 25,000 miles left on them, 30,000 miles something like that uh, this thing needs nothing anyway make sure you get a deposit in without a deposit we do not have a deal God, these roads suck look at these roads um, without uh, a deposit, we don't have a deal. So you got to get a deposit in. Once we get a deposit in, you'll see a little banner on our website. It'll say deposit, and then it'll you know be thanking you a little name banner under it saying thanks Dave or Mary or Joe or whoever bought the vehicle. And you'll know that uh, you're the owner. Um, until we have that, you're not the owner. So please make sure you get that in. We could have an agreed upon deal and you don't have a deposit and someone else will come in and beat you to it. So don't let that happen. Thank you very much and have a great week.